Okay, Rafa Benitez is set to leave Newcastle United on the 30th of June when his contract expires. Uh, sources state that assurances couldn't be given over transfers, uh, transfer policy and transfer funds, and his own position um, if he was to sign a new contract. Uh, you know, this has been an ongoing issue for Rafa Benitez. He's been basically trying to keep this team competitive on a shoestring. Uh, they've had to sell more players than they've bought as well. Um, they've been pretty good, I have to admit. I have to admit, Rafa Benitez and his, and his coaching staff have been pretty good at scouting talent and getting talent into Newcastle United on the cheap. The issue is Newcastle United have become a selling club. Uh, they're, they're not progressing for a club of that size where they should. Um, and, you know, this says to me that the Sheikh Khalid deal has collapsed and, and is not going to, you know, be completed. Because when Amanda Stavey was interested, Rafa Benitez, his position was up for discussion. She wanted to keep him as manager and give him transfer funds. Peter Kenyon said, we're going to keep Benitez in place if I take over. It was hinted that Benitez would be the man to go forward. They weren't going to change manager. Sheikh Khalid uh, has made no reference to you know Benitez as manager in his position. But you would have thought... Uh, with what Rafa Benitez has done with the limited funds available and the fact he's won Champions Leagues and La Liga titles and he's got silverware to his name, that you know you would keep a manager like that, you know, in the position. It hasn't turned out to be the case. Um, Mike Mike Ashley is now definitely enemy number one in in Newcastle. There is there is no doubt about that. Uh, if you couldn't, if he wasn't already alienated enough from the fan base, I think he's he's done it now. I don't know who replaces Rafa Benitez. They probably would have had a, a manager lined up, but there's not that many managers with Premier League experience available who are of a quality enough, uh, a good enough level to take you know what is there with Newcastle and, and take them to that next level by improving the players that are there. They need to bring players in. Mike Ashley refuses to spend money. Um, but this is three attempted takeovers in a year and a half that have collapsed. The club is still up for sale. The club's future is uncertain. And now the direction of the club on on the field is uncertain because possibly the best manager they've had since 2000, I would have thought, with what he's had to do with the club, with the limited funds available to him, has basically been hung out to dry by Mike Ashley. So Rafa Benitez is out. Who replaces, uh, who replaces him? We'll wait and see. Uh, obviously, Rafa Benitez has got, I think, five, six days left in the job. So, you know, a replacement's probably already been lined up. Uh, I think Newcastle, I think the Newcastle board will probably prepare for this decision. And in an eventuality, they would have probably been planning for this. But who's going to want to go to this club to manage there, knowing that they're not going to get given transfer funds to compete, uh, that the club is selling their best players, and you know the club's up for sale, and uh, there is uncertainty about the ownership. What manager is wanna, going to want to want to go there and commit to that club? Because Rafa Benitez has done has worked miracles, and I feel sorry for the Newcastle fans. But I th- this is this has got to be the point where the fans start boycotting and staying away, and send a real message to Mike Ashley that it's more than just banners saying Ashley out. Actually, staying away from St James's Park might might be the sign that he needs to to get out of town. Um, because I can see this club, I can see Newcastle, I can see Newcastle being in a relegation fight uh, again this coming season, and it might be not one that they can escape from. But I'm going to leave that there. Rafa Benitez is gone. Uh, He will obviously leave at the end of his contract. He might actually help in selecting a successor. We don't know the ins and outs, but what we do know is he's not going to be there for the start of the coming Premier League season. So anyway, I'm going to leave that there. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Then place your comments below, and I will have some more videos for you, except, well, well, pretty soon, because there's two more Women's World Cup games to, to discuss, and there's a special subscriber video coming up as well. So I shall see you soon.